Howdy, howdy, it's Kale. I'm going to do another stream and doing some coloring today. It's gray, gloomy, rained a lot last night. I've got a little puppy over to my side, kind of playing with a toy, so you might hear a little bit of crackle, crackle in the background because it's got like paper in it, whatever. She's teething, so it's okay, she can chew on it. Go ahead and get some tunes going. Just something pretty chill. So I've been um, working to actually reset things back up to do some game streaming on Twitch. So that's what I spent the morning doing. And I have to wait for the channel, blah, 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 YouTube, this, that, and the other. So um, I figured I'd go ahead and just get a coloring stream in. And this is what I'm working on. This is Magical Dawn. And these are some potion bottles. Now I was following a tutorial for this bottle here, kind of this area here and here. Move it up a little bit so you can see. This one I didn't do with the tutorial. These two little sections I did. I guess, um, I forget what it's called. Um, like Pamela's Passion for Color, color Pencils, something like that. I'll have to find the link and I'll see if I can remember to link it in the description. So yesterday I finished um, another page in Worlds of Wonder. I'll show you that real quick. Um, that I did with uh, color pencils and just a regular pencil. I don't know if you can consider it like a regular pencil. Um, one of them was a regular pencil and the other one was this Prismacolor Ebony. Jet Black Extra Smooth. That's what I did like the flowers with and the, the, the like the main body, whatever. Um, it didn't turn out too bad. I was just trying to see what kind of like the grayscale would look like. My brother was watching one of my streams. He's like, why is the page crooked? I'm like, well, I'm coloring. So kind of turn it, you know, uh, or I think it was like, why is the camera crooked? And I'm like, well, I'm like trying to color in it, you know? So, uh, yeah. So this morning I'm still set up out in the living room. Now I think I'm at the point where a uh, little baby will be ready on her potty training, uh, success. Ooh. That was her. For me to go back into my office where I can stream what I would consider to be normal. Normal streaming. Hey, you guys, don't start growling. Oh, Lord have mercy. Evie. Evie gets so upset when, uh, when the baby goes near her. I don't really know how to do this section, so I'm just kind of winging it. I kind of saw like how she did hers, Pam, Pamela, but I don't want to do it like exactly the same. So I'm just kind of trying to wing it and just kind of see how it goes. Evie. So hopefully the tunes are working. Let me test the oh, 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 the chat. Uh, oh, Streamlabs always asks me to open this in the in a browser window. I just want to see if it works. Like, uh, okay, I'm just gonna type hello just to make sure it works. Okay. Goodness gracious. Well, it's there, but you cannot see the text. Let me go look at the settings for that. It says clean theme, text color. Well, it would help if it was like... Okay. I don't know. We'll see if that works. 
Did that even like remotely make a difference? I don't know. Let me look at it again just to make sure I did it right. Background. Text color. So silly. Oh, I just make it, there we go, white. It's still not white. White is FF. It's all Fs for the hex code. <laughs> I'll try it again. I'll just type in testing. Let's see what happens. Go back over here. Like literally. Now I don't see it at all. I see it over on the right, but I don't see it on the screen. I don't get it. Eh, well, I'm not going to worry about it. Well, I'll test it later. What if I do a little heart? Does that show up there? No, it would only show up there. I don't know. OBS and Streamlabs is so weird. It's so weird. So what I'm trying to do here is kind of make like some areas that are darker and then lighter. I mean, I'm not sure if that's like the right approach. Um. winging it like I said using Prisma colors here can you even see anything there huh. so I'm using the coffee table in the living room Now the two little ones are playing. So they've been asleep most of the morning and I thought, well, you know, they'll sleep a little bit longer. Apparently not. Fine. I will be understanding. I will be an understanding parent, dog parent. making all these little weird noises. They're biting each other. So I hope everybody had the opportunity to see the eclipse. And by the way, welcome in if you're new. Please subscribe to the channel, like the vid, turn on your notifications and you'll know when I'm streaming again. I am trying to keep myself in a relatively decent mood with this weather. I'm not a fan of cloudy days. Always makes me feel kind of down. I'm a sun baby. I really don't know. Like, I don't have a plan here. <laughs> I don't. I don't have a plan, so as you can see, I'm kind of just like, I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, 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 uh. Pardon the dogs. Hey, no barking, man. It's aggravating. Nobody wants to hear it. No, pupper. So... Lily is the guard dog. She's the alpha female. They're all females, but she's the alpha. So she's always, always scouting, looking out the front window, just on duty. I'm like, oh, give it a rest. 
Half the time I look out there, I don't even see anything. It's like, what are you barking at? It doesn't look on the camera like I'm coloring anything, but I actually am laying down color. So I'm using Scarlet Lake right at the moment. But I don't really know what I'm doing. I mean, it's kind of a big, big area thing. You know, it's a big motif here, big element, not motif, element. So it's kind of hard to figure out, like, how to make it look good. And this is where, you know, I'm, I despair of ever, like, feeling like an artist, because I... I my guess, ugh, let's not go out of the lines. My guess is that an artist would know like what to do. <laughs> and I'm just winging it. And I'm, I'm kind of like, well, if I wing it too much, is it going to look crappy? You know, um, but I don't want to be like a super color planner other than maybe like some, you know, basic ideas of the, the color scheme that I want to use. But sometimes when I get to an area on the picture where I'm not really sure how to color it, I kind of get lost. So then the only thing that I can do is just tell myself, you know, don't stress out about it. Just do the best you can. And don't do the, um, you know, comparing yourself to others type thing. Which, of course, is human nature to do. So it's going to be hard to tell myself not to do that. You know, because I, I can go watch videos and you see these just lovely and absolutely gorgeous coloring renderings and, you know, works of art. And then you come back and you look at yours and you're like, ugh, what? What is that, right? And then you just feel bad. You're like, ah, uh, I can't color with shit, you know. You just feel bad. Now, I don't want to give up because I've got a pretty good, you know, financial investment in supplies and so forth. Uh, and I do enjoy it. So, uh, I, I have no plans to become a professional artist. So there's really no logical need for me to feel stressed out about how it looks. But... That's human nature to do that, so I will try not to be too upset with myself if it doesn't come out perfect. Maybe doing this in small sections will be better. I don't know. What was that? Crimson Lake? Scarlet Lake? This one is Crimson Red. Is that one darker? Maybe. Table's moving. Rosy. No barking. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Does that look like anything? Maybe. Oh, goodness. Hey, knock it off. One of these days I'll have to... Evie, knock it off. Y'all lie down. 
I'll have to take videos of them playing around. I don't have anything like current. I think I've got one where um, one video where the hubby took I think it was Yeevee to the vet and left Lily here. This was before we really realized how bonded they are to each other. And she freaked out. So I was recording her howling. Um, I might have maybe a couple other ones, but not many. Girls, be nice to each other. Little baby has a little tiny boo-boo on her back leg where somebody bit her too hard. Sometimes they play rough. Rough, rough, rough. I blend that in. Should I blend it in with the pink, pinkier color, which is pink rose, or this one, peach. Peach is darker. Mm -mm. Don't do that to each other. <laughs> Gonna pull this out this way if I can. Cooperate. So, solar eclipse. That thing was like awesome. I think it's one of the best things I've ever seen in my entire life. It was really emotional, very spiritual. How can I get this right here to like blend in better? I don't like the way that looks. Just press lighter. Let's do that area light and we'll keep this one dark. Darker. that. Hey, knock it off. Silly. So I have this dog blanket kind of draped over the back side of the couch for the big dogs to lay on when they look out the window. So they can look out the window. And the little baby's scratching on it. Oh, there she's going. <laughs> what are you doing? Cray cray. I don't know why she's doing that. I think they want to play next to me. Why? Maybe. I don't know. Let me look. No. Just one that's laying down. I have two heating pads for them on the couch. Guess you can kind of see that shading. 
I'll come back around the circles later. Hmm. That looks okay. Okay, so let's go in a little bit darker. I'm going to try and do like layers, but like lighter, but not like pressing too, too hard. I think sometimes what happens is, is if I press too hard, then when you try and put more color on, it just doesn't... Um, it doesn't look right or so I don't know. It doesn't like work as well for some reason. So I'm gonna try and I'm still I'm still learning, so trying to experiment with the different pressures that you can put on the paper and over you know one color on top of another. use my streams as coloring practice sessions. Now, if I had, well, I don't know, I don't, my printer might not be able to do it, but if, if I could test my printer, then I could make, maybe like print this page and maybe do like a test, test on it, but I mean, it's too much effort. Supposed to be having fun, not stressing myself out about coloring. And this has always been like the pattern that I've had in my life. And I have no idea where I got it. I think it's just innate to my personality about being a perfectionist. Um, I think also part of it's also when I was young, just wanting to please my mom. which I was, you know, a mom's girl, for sure. Oh my gosh. I was not daddy's girl, I was mom's. So I always had this little streak of wanting to do good in everything. You know, be a good clarinet player, get good grades, be a good pom-pom, be a good cheerleader, well, not cheerleader, pom-pom, you know, um, be good at all the things that she had us, all those lessons and things that she had us do, ice skating and ballet, and, uh, I mean, I even went, I mean, I'm so short, like, I would never be the right size to be a ballerina, and I did an audition for the National Ballet down in DC when I was a, when I was, I don't know, sixth grade or whatever. I don't know. And they're like, yeah, we'll take you. And I was like, what? And I thought about it, it's like, I don't want to be a ballerina. What, what am I doing? But I love ballet. But still, it was hilarious. I was like, yeah, nah. I would be a terrible ballerina. I don't have the height, I don't have the body type, like short, chunky, Hispanic chick trying to be a ballerina. It's like, no, you need to be like, not maybe like super tall, but a good height and have that, that, um, those nice long lean limbs that they have where they look so ethereal. It's awesome. I love ballet. 
I used to watch a lot of them with my daughter. I also like ballet music quite a bit. to have my own ballet slippers. It's crazy. It's fun. I think they went back to sleep. Let me look, peek over there. No, but I don't see the two little ones. What are they up to? And I don't really hear them. They must be either out in the sunroom or in the dining room. We don't really have a dining room. In the kitchen. So here... playing with something. I don't know what. Or maybe just chewing on each other. Which is fine. As long as they don't draw blood, right? Okay, that little shadow helps with the star there. Um, I usually don't interfere too much when they're playing with each other unless they start getting too rough. Then I'm like, knock it off. Okay, so this one's done. This one. He's up here. Um, like turning the book around and whatever. While I'm at it, let me just check the, uh, stream, Lord of Mercy, stream quality is good, okay, thanks, thanks little performance metrics. the line so much over here. That's dumb. Do a dark line there. I have to get my break out my eraser. Mm -hmm. So quiet, that's just something. What are you guys doing? Oh, there's one. Misty! Come here, baby. She's 
she's oh, too much. She is too much. I see one of them. I don't see the other one. I don't see her. There she is. What are you doing, baby? Come and lie down with Mama. So anyhow, I'm trying not to be too perfectionistic, not to go look at all sorts of other coloring streams and, and be judgmental on myself. Just admire their work, learn, get better. And for the most part, I'm, you know, not too critical of myself, but there are days or, or parts where I'm like, Ugh, I just don't like the way that looks. Or I don't like now. It's like, I, I don't know what I'm doing. Like, is this going to come out looking, you know, crappy? Is it going to be okay? There's questions. Kind of irksome. I can still hear my mom's voice in my head. Relax. <laughs> you can do it. I mean, she was positive about that. She wasn't like critical. She's like, you can do it. And that was, she was like that on everything that we tried. Ice skating, fencing. Art. Band. She was very much into learning. And not necessarily, you know, just by going to school. I mean, she wanted you to learn with practical experience. Um, you know, trying things out, like experiencing it to know, like, were you going to be good at it? Or did you have a natural affinity for it or a natural talent? So she was always like, you know, try it out, try it out, try it out. See how you do you know do it more than one time because maybe the first time you know you're just really new at it try it again you know the more you do it the better you'll get all that all that it's what I grew up with constantly in my head always No, it's not. It's getting there. Now I still have to pull out. Um, move out of the way. The eraser. Um. Let me try and smooth this out a little bit here. Misty. Her name is Diora, Diora, D-I-O-R-A, Misty Moon. So, so sometimes when she's like being disobedient or whatever, I'll be like, Diora, Misty Moon, get over here. So Diora is the name of one of my favorite characters in my favorite fantasy series called the Sun Sword, the Sun Sword series. 
She's introdu introduced in the first book, which is called The Broken Crown. She's awesome. She is. She has bardic powers, like she has the power of the voice, where she can literally control people with the power of her voice. Very, very cool. And she's like the most beautiful woman in her country. But she's really smart, but she goes through a lot. Um, a lot of painful things, but she just ends up becoming stronger in her person and her, um, her will and wiser. It's just really great storyline. Where's this child? What are you two babies doing? I don't trust them. Can you tell that I don't trust them? I'm go back and see if I can put in a little bit of this, um... It's like a... Just a regular pink. Mm -mm. Put a little bit in there. Little girly girls! I hear little the pitter-patter of running feet. I think they're chasing each other. They're crazy. I don't know if you can hear them running around. It's hilarious. So I think, after all this time of jury rigging streaming out here in the living room, that I can go back to my office, to my beautiful studio, and stream in there. It'd be so nice. Travel down here, so going around here. So Misty is laying on top of Evie, um, not Evie, on top of Lily, and biting her, biting her face. <laughs> okay. Hopefully they'll just be relatively quiet while I stream. Hopefully. Tired of getting chewed on. Seeing that little wench. See, Mom, I'm, I'm too old for this nonsense. I can sympathize because I'm too old for a lot of nonsense, too. Hey. Ah, 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 ah.
So the way that they've kind of paired up, well, I mean, obviously Lily and Evie, as the oldest, are bonded to each other, their sisters. So Rosie and um, Misty are not sisters, but they're, they've got like a little bit of a bond. Not a big one yet. We'll see if it gets any stronger. So Rosie is kind of like with... Um, How do they do it? Let's see. I'll explain it. So when they're rowdy, Misty is with Lily. And well, no, I think no, she's more with Evie. And then I think Rosie is more with Lily. Her person her personality. I don't know. But they kind of change depending on what activity they're doing. Lily doesn't like to play very much. So she's usually pretty quiet, just looking out the window, <laughs> guarding. So when whenever one of the babies is quiet, that's who they'll go um, kind of be by because she's being quiet. And then when they want to be rowdy, they'll go with Evie, who has much more energy than Lily. Misty, come over here and lie down with Mama. Disobedient child. Just like throwing all these colors together here in this mishmash, hoping that it ends up looking good. <laughs> Just like hoping that it looks good. You know, some days, like when you color, it feels good and you're like, wow, I like that. I'm really enjoying myself. And other days, you're kind of uh, more on the frustrated side. Like, I don't know. I don't know what color to pick. I don't know which picture to color in. I don't know which book to color in. I don't know which color pencils to use. Sometimes when I have a day like that where I don't really know what I'm doing or I'm not sure which book I want to color in, um, I just, <laughs> just won't color. I'm like, you know, it, this is like, yeah, not today. Or at least not right now. Let's find something else to do. So I've been kind of like that with my gaming. So I want to game, but I don't want to game. Which literally makes no sense. I'm kind of Disney Dreamlight Valley burnout. And the same with Animal Crossing, even though I want to go back to my new island and finish it up. Uh, 
and there's nothing really new on the switch. I keep going to the eShop and it's like there's just nothing there. They just look like little trash mobile games. I, I don't know why it's like that. I don't know, maybe because they have the new Switch coming out soon, they're just not putting anything really good, you know, good on the old Switches, so. And then my Steam Deck trigger on the right, or the bumper, whichever one it is, is screwed up. So I can't really game on there, like, reliably irritating. Somebody's pulling up in my neighbor's driveway. It's not a car I recognize. I'm on, I'm on neighborhood patrol. No, I'm not. As the retiree, actually I'm not the only one. Because across the street from us, there are Two old ladies it must be like in their in their eighties, late seventies. There used to be three. One of them passed away, unfortunately, but. I'm not the only old lady on the block. Okay, let's see. That doesn't look dark at all, but to me, I see dark. So, I don't know why that's not really showing up. It's very dark. What are you two doing? Um, let me see. I think I've got it dark in the right spots. I feel a puppy at my feet. What you guys doing? We gave him a bath this weekend. He gets stinky. Dirty puppy smell. somebody next to me. Hey, uh, uh, uh. No. Go play somewhere else. Oh, no. Don't do that to my hair. Thank you.
Do I think that... No, I got the light one. It's really not that light. Okay. And then what I'm going to do... See if I can get these puppies to go back to sleep, right? They're so bad. Oh, they're so bad. No babies. Stop chewing on each other. Misty? Rosie? What's going on? You alright? You bleeding? You have any flesh wounds? Hmm? You okay? Okay. Is this other one like the monster? No, stop. Okay. No. No, no chewing. No biting. Oh gosh, puppy energy. Stick your head under the camera. See this dog? <laughs> She's too crazy. And that's the other one. Stick your head in there, Rosie. <laughs> okay, you guys go back. Lie down here. Lie down. Ah, ah, ah. No. No. <sighs> Get some water here. How long have I managed to go? 52 minutes? I'm almost about to be done with these dogs. And I think over here, I've got these three colors. I've got, okay, these are Prismacolors. But here I've got the Polychromas. I was going to try them out. I haven't used them very much. So I was going to try um, them over here. This yellow. Light cadmium yellow. And just kind of kind of see how they work as far as layering the colors, you know, and the and the the tension that you have to use. I don't really know how that's going to work because these are oil apparently oil based. And Prismacolors are wax. So... I'm not sure, really, like what the best way is to use these. I mean, do you press hard? Is it just only light layers? I'm not really sure. I'm just going to have to play. Play and see. Oh my gosh, she's just biting her. I hear like groaning. Little doggy groans. I don't know. Of course, it's not like super bright today. This is a um, burnt ochre. So I'm not pressing hard. If I press hard right here, if I press hard here, I'm kind of pull it out a little bit. Go back with this one. Yeah, they work different than the Prisma colors. Uh -huh. It's almost like I mean, I want to say like there's a layer. Sometimes when you go over with another color, it's almost like splotchy. Mm. 
I don't know if that's the right word. Like it's not, it doesn't like go on necessarily like smooth. I don't know how to explain that. But I can kind of see where... The other color is on top. That's weird. So I have a set. I will probably try and use them a little bit more. Um, I'll probably do it here on this page. Since I have them out, the other ones, the, the rest of the Prismacolors are in the studio. And the Color or Calor, however you say that brand. I did finally get all the, the 520 swatches done. So I'm going to be testing those on another page. I'll just start a fresh page. Get down. Get down off of there. Jump. Jump. You can jump. Um, don't chew on my hair. She likes to chew on my hair. No. Go lie down over here with Rosie. Lie down. Be a good girl. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to try the testing the calor. I think it's calor. Maybe it's calor. Who knows? I have to find that out. Test those on a new page. I'm thinking maybe, um, I don't know if I want to do one in here. I thought I saw one. Ugh. Or this one. I'm thinking maybe this one. Be nice to kind of do these little crystals be interesting also to use them the color colors since there's so many colors hopefully there's like a lot of like skin tone colors which i didn't like review when i was doing all the swatching i was just swatching as fast as i could to get them all done since there were so many but um there should be plenty to make this pretty good skin tone i still have to finish this and um there's some other ones i have to finish but i'll probably do once I'm done here streaming, let's go back and get the eraser. Use my trusty dusty eraser, which I really like. I like this one. It's called Afmat. Um, it's got the little top you can put on here. The only thing um, is that it, when you pick it up, you end up hitting the button. <laughs> it's like, oh God, stop hitting the button. But anyways, I'll probably take this and go back a couple of places where I went outside the lines and just kind of clean it up a little bit. This is not going to end up looking too bad. I mean, I know the lighting in the room is really funky because the sun is behind the clouds. It's cloudy. I think we're supposed to have thunderstorms this afternoon anyway. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll go back and clean that up and then probably finish doing some shading around these stars that are on here and then go go around and um, probably outline all the the bubbles little bubbles so like um, let's take this one here so I'm just gonna go with this uh, crimson red and just outline them like this. I don't know if you can see that. Since the camera's not super close. Let's see if I can bring it down a little bit without like breaking anything. Dropping anything. There. There. So you can see I did these two here. Probably come out a little bit more. Maybe soften, soften the edges of the circles. Let's see how that looks. I'm doing it and not looking to see how it looks. Duh. Let me see. Yeah, see, that looks a little bit better. You can see it better. And then when I go back over it, well, I don't know. Um, am I going to do white? I'll have to figure that out, how I want to do those. 
But yeah, I want to make sure I have like the shadowing around all the stars. You know, like down here. Kind of just come around. Why do I have a line right there? I don't know. Notice how it got real quiet. So it's like, what are they doing? I'll put a little bit of this red in here. Yeah, this step actually came out really nice. She has nice technique. So hopefully this doesn't look too shabby. And then I'll go back and do this little area here. And then maybe what I'll do, I don't know what I should do. So maybe I'll finish this bottle. So there's at least one bottle done. And then... So I haven't done very much. Let me just lift this up again. Since I haven't done this one very much, just the center section. Now I'll go back over here and finish this. Finish this whole little spiely bob over here. And then go back and finish this bottle. And then go back and do, you know, this bottom part and all these other whatever, the background. I haven't decided yet how to do the background or what color. Um, I need to go back over this part here with, I don't know, it looks so, it looks so, what's the word? Pink? I need to see if I can make it a little bit more red. Who's crying? What you crying about, baby? Let's see if I can make it a little bit more red. I don't know why it's so pink. I don't know if I was using a different color. I might have been. I don't know. It's been a while since I first did this part. That's one thing I'll have to start doing is um, keeping track of what color I'm using, what colors I'm using on a page. If I stop, like in the middle, before I finish the page, you know, so that I know what to come back to. It's like, this section was done with, you know, Crimson Red and Scarlet Lake, whatever. Um, otherwise, it's going to look different. And then I'll be like, duh, why'd you do that? Yeah, or maybe just this color here is kind of making it look weird. I don't know. That is about all I can do for the day as far as streaming goes. I may even <laughs> just give it a rest for the afternoon. This is what happens when you start off coloring and you don't know kind of like what you're doing. Like you don't really have like a plan in mind. I had the colors. So I, I had the, the pencils like the, I had these pencils already out and ready. Um, and these two, even though I kind of knew I wasn't really going to get to this because this is such a big part of the page. So, you know, when you don't kind of know like what you're doing, the process is slow. Ooh. The process is slower and ooh, and it takes like a little, you know, it just takes longer because, you know, you're experimenting, you're trying to figure things out. Um, and especially this area is so curvy and you know that there's going to be shadows and light. So I wanted to make sure I did that. I didn't want it to be all one one uh, light level, like no shadows. I, I knew there had to be shadows in it. 
and I may go back and even do maybe like a few little bit more coming out from here a little further like deepen them or whatever um I, I would have to figure out if there's a darker red than this crimson red I don't really want a shadow with black so I have to figure that out and somebody's growling so anyhow um Thanks for tuning in. <laughs> I'm going to put this over it like this. Protect it. And uh, enjoy the rest of your day. If you're coloring, enjoy your coloring. I hope it's a bit more successful than mine was today, or at least an easier process. Look at these dogs. Oh, Lord have mercy. Anyhow, um, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Enjoy the day.